Hey folks, welcome back to Bearded Cubing 101. My name is Joe, I'm your host, The Bearded Cuber. Um, in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve the two by three by four cube. Um, okay, so uh, a little bit of a disclaimer. Um, you know, you can go into this cube cold and still be able to solve it. And, you know, just learn from this video. But it really would help if you knew um, other solving um, strategies and methods that I've we've gone over in the past in past videos um, to help you solve this cube more proficiently. Um, and a couple of those things would be um, knowing how to place um, these corner pieces, right? Um, and I've gone through this in uh, uh, quite a few videos, where it's the uh, um, like the 2R U, 2R UI, 2R. Um, and then back from back to front, and then you do that same algorithm. Um, and you're going to need to know how to do it from the right, and in this cube, you're going to need to know how to do it from the left. Um, so we're going to have to go over that. Um, and also, how to do uh, parity solutions, right? And I had a parity solution um, video for the X2, and it's pretty much the same, you know, the same thing. Um, it's just a different cube. Um, so you're going to want to know how to do that. Um, also, there's going to be a 22 move algorithm that I have to teach you that's going to be new to this cube. Um, and, uh, you know, but being able to solve these cubes, remember, is cumulative. You're going to need to know how to solve other cubes before, um, you know, you, you move into the more advanced cubes. It, it's going to really help you out in that, in that respect. So, uh, you know, um, but if you're ready, Go ahead and uh, grab your cube and uh, we'll get started. Okay, so um, here's the two by three by four cube. Um, now, before we get started into the um, scrambling, um, I wanna cover the 22 move algorithm first um, so that I can help better illustrate to you what it is I'm talking about. Um, Cause this could be a little bit confusing or a lot of bit confusing. Um, all right, so the first thing first is we're going to notice that there's one, two, three pieces out of position, okay? Um, the rest of the cube is completely solved. Um, so when you get into this situation where you have one, two, three pieces out and everything else is in, you're going to have to... Um, get creative with this 22 move algorithm and basically the way that it starts off is um, you're going to need to know a few things um, the first thing you're going to need to know is uh, where where's your starting point right what are you looking at well the starting point is you're going to have a row here right so this row is the only row this is orange um, white orange so this is the only row that has white orange all the way across, okay? I'm not saying that it's always gonna be the white orange. It could be the white red. It could be um, this one. It could be this one, right? Um, but in this case, it's this one. And so we have this solid row across. So we know that we're gonna start with this solid row facing us, okay? Just like that. And then you're gonna have, um, so that's the first thing you're going to have. Then you're going to see what color this is. So obviously, um, we're on the white side, right? So, um, so we already know two things right off the bat. We have the solid row, right? That's the first thing that we know, um, and that's facing us. We know that we we're on, we've got the white side. We're dealing with the white side facing us. So that's the second thing we know. Um, the third thing that we know is um, which is the odd piece here? Well, it's this one because uh, um, this one's the only one that doesn't match, right? So that's the third thing that we know. Um, and it's on the right side, okay? So this would be the right side, these two pieces here, or this whole side here is the right side, and this side here is the left side. So the third thing that we know is that the odd piece that, that we're dealing with is on the right side. Okay, um, because, and why is this important to know is because um, if it was on the left side, we'd have to do 
the less cited version of this 22 move algorithm. But since we're on the right side, we're going to have to do the right sided version of this 22 move algorithm. And what happens is that this piece here will go here, this piece here will go here, and this piece will go here, right? Um, but what you also have to know is, and remember when I just um, previously uh, gave you my description of what a um, algorithm is, in cubing terms, an algorithm is a move set, a predetermined set of moves that if done correctly, um, and it often involves a setup move, right? If done correctly, you're going to get the desired result. Um, but you don't always have to do a setup move, okay? So I've set this cube up in, in a way, or I had it, you know, solved, um, and it worked out itself out in a way where I don't have to do a setup move right now. Um, but we will cover that. Um, but just to prove to you that you don't always have to have a setup move when doing um, an algorithm to, to make it work, but sometimes you do. All right, so this this piece right here, the orange yellow, will go here and will complete this orange yellow side. Um, this piece, the uh, yellow red, will come here and complete the yellow red side, and this piece, the white red, will come over here and complete the white red side. Okay, so let's uh, let's now that we know everything that we need to know, right? We have. Um, all this facing us, we, we got the white facing us, we know we're gonna do the right-sided version, and we know that we don't need to do a setup move because this will go here and be correct, this will go here and be correct, and this will go here and be correct. Okay, so now that we know all that, let's get, get into this uh, algorithm. So the first thing you're gonna do is uh, 2F, U, uh, 2R, UI, 2L, U, there you go, kind of lined up really good, 2R, UI, 2L, 2F, 2 okay. um, small R, all right? When I mean 2 small R, I mean just this one. Um, so you just turn this one twice, turn this back, okay? All I did was turn this one. I turned this one back. Um, 2F, 2L, 2 U, 2R, UI, 2L, U, uh, 2R, UI, 2F, and 2R, uh, the small one. Okay, and that restores the cube. Okay, folks, um, so um, let's just go ahead and scramble this cube up a bit. And, you know, you don't have to get too crazy about, you know, scrambling this thing. It's, you know... Um, you know, you're not really going to be able to get it too bent out of shape because you have to do these, um, you know, like you can't turn it like this. You know, you'd have to do like a full rotation to be able to get it um, to, to turn. Um, so, so, you know, you can actually make it look more scrambled than it is by just simply turning it once, you know, like that. You know, so it looks like it's a lot more scrambled than it actually is, but it's actually locked. Okay, so, um, you know, Get it unlocked just by simply turning it down. You know, now it's unlocked and you can turn it any which way you want. Okay, so now that you got it unlocked, um, you know, the first thing that you want to do is 
let's just take a quick look around this cube a little bit. Okay. Um, now I could just simply keep turning a bit and just to, all right, just randomly, I turned it a little bit and I was able to get it back into a cube form. So it's not really that difficult to get it back into a cube um, shape, right? Um, but if yours didn't turn into a cube shape after messing around with it just for a little bit, don't worry about it. No big deal. Um, so what I'm looking for right now is um, any similarities that I can find on the corners. So um, right here I have a uh, red to red. These are both blue. I got a yellow here and I got a white there. So I'm going to take this as being correct. Okay, so I'm just looking at this, these two pieces right here. Um, so I'm ignoring these two pieces and I'm ignoring these two pieces. Let's go back, back to these corners now, right? So these corners are correct. What about this? Well, red to red, that's good. White to white, that's good. And it's green, great. So I'm gonna say that this piece is correct, this piece is correct, this piece is correct. And now I just need to simply put the red, green, and yellow piece here. So let's look around, right? So we have a red, we've got a green, and we got a yellow. So I'm gonna put it right back here, right? And just like I showed you in many, many other cubes before, uh, we're gonna do the same thing to be able to put this piece here, okay? So we're gonna keep the piece that we need to the back, to the rear, and we're gonna go, 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. Okay. Now I'm going to, I'm going to take the bottom, right? Because the piece I need is still right there, right? And I'm not going to turn it to the front. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to just turn it all the way to the front because it ends up over here. You don't want to do that. So just turn it back, okay? The piece that we want is right here. We're just gonna do uh, a DI, okay? Just a DI, so it's sticking out, it's right here. And we're gonna do the same algorithm. 2R U, 2R UI, 2R, okay. So it's now placed. So these two pieces are placed, and these two pieces are placed. Okay, these pieces and these two pieces are correct and these two pieces are correct, okay? I didn't plan that, okay? that They just fell into place, all right? I, I had nothing to do with it. It just randomly fell into place, okay? Um, what I had something to do with was I placed these two pieces correctly and I placed these two pieces correctly. These two just fell in as a semi-bonus. Okay, so let's turn the cube over, okay? Um, I'm not worried about the middle. I, I could care less about the middle right now. Um, what I do want is I wanna fix this top, okay? And the way that um, we're gonna do that is um, we're gonna look for headlights, all right? So these two pieces, this green and this yellow, that's not a headlight situation because they're not the same color. These two pieces are not the same color, right? These two pieces, this blue and this uh, uh, yellow are not the same color, but these two whites are the same color, okay? So I'm gonna keep the headlights, these two pieces to my left, and I'm gonna use the strategy that I showed you in um, the pillow-shaped uh, pyraminx, uh, the one where I did it with the ready cube, okay, so it was the alternate um, way of uh, um, uh, moving the cube around. Uh, was, we're going to go over that again right now. And it was uh, 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R, okay, and then I turn the cube and I'm going to go 2R, UI, 2R, 
you to R. Okay, and then I'm just gonna turn this. Okay, and uh, well, the cube looks like it's almost completely solved already. Um, and again, uh, and this has never really happened to me before, but um, these two pieces fell into place, these two pieces fell into place. So it appears that I did this on purpose. I did not do this on purpose, just like I did not put these in on purpose either. They just happened to fall into place. Um, but what I did do is I placed these two and these two. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and let's take all these um, whites and we're gonna put them white to white, okay? Um, and don't worry, we're gonna do another solve, you know, obviously. Um, we're gonna do a couple more solves. Um, so now that we have white to white and um, yellow to yellow, uh, it looks like the only thing that we need to do is we need to switch um, this piece and this piece, right? Because the white green needs to go over here and the white green side and this same thing with the blue it needs to come over here and then the same deal with um, this over here all right so actually this is going to work out really well all right so here is how we switch these two okay um, we're going to keep the and right now let's be clear what we're doing we're going to take this piece right here the white green and we're going to put it there we're going to take this one and it's going to come over here um, and the way that we're going to switch these two pieces um, we're going to go up to R2, F2, up to F2, R2, F2. And these two pieces flipped and become, uh, fell into their proper positions, All right? We're going to turn the cube. And we're going to do the same thing with this piece needs to come over here and this piece needs to come over here. Same thing. Ready? Up to R2, F2, up to, mm -hmm. there it is. F2, R2. And this thing does get stuck, so there it is. Um, I lost my train of thought. Uh, yeah. Uh, what was it? This way, up two, and R two. All right. So sometimes you know you you lose your temporary, lose your train of thought, um, but you know you'll you'll quickly figure it out again. Um, but that was quite easy. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to scramble it up and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, do this again.